Hello! This is a video, um, not for Merc 2nd Edition, but about Megacon games in relation to their Kickstarters and myth. Um, Megacon has had some problems with uh, a few Kickstarters and myth in general. Um, apart from the expansion boxes, and the second edition rules, they haven't brought, sent anything out for the um, Journeyman Kickstarter or the, um, a, um, I think it's called Dark Age, it's a co-op board game set in the Mythy universe they haven't done anything for that um, I'm pr I think they're doing stuff for the Emergence event um, expansion I think that's going along something like I could be wrong, comment below if it's going not quite right or something or other um, I was a bit slow on that, which was stupid. I really wanted in on that. Because, emergence event. There's no real attacking, but it's a nice sit down, chat about, have a laugh, go to your own play, pay sort of game. It's nice. I mean, even with the shipping costs, the board game isn't that badly priced, in fairness. It really isn't that bad. But, yeah, um... Basically, M Megacon are selling Myth off. Um, they're going to sort the Kickstarter backers out, um, which is one of the things I was hoping they'd do. Um, I was hoping they'd sell off Myth. I'll get into why in a minute. Um, but... Which is a bit weird. Um, so... What it is, since I reckon the problem has been since about February, some people would say since March, but I reckon February. What I reckon, well, what has happened is um, it's been under non-disclosure agreement, which means whoever they're selling to, um, Megacon signed agreement with them where they don't re they don't talk about any specifics, um, and they haven't talked they haven't they haven't even said until recently that they're selling Myth off. Um, which, yes, it's a shame because the idea was pretty good. I mean, yeah, they were caught board ball games before, like the um, Gears of War board game, but really I think Myth um, catapulted it, catapulted the um, court board game genre. Um, now you've got a lot of court board games popping up all over the place, and really I think it's partly thanks to Myth. I mean, I've got Fire Team Zero. I've got a lot for Fire Team Zero, and um, I reckon that's partly in thanks to Myth. But that's just what I think. Um, I think it's a good thing because it's been been on Megacons backs. It's like been a monkey on Megacons back for so long, and it's really not helped them out one iota. Um, they have been and not. They have no. They. They've had noble, no, they've had no um, social presence. I mean, yeah, they've got a website and Facebook groups and all the rest of it, but they've not talked about anything, um, which is a bit of a shame. Um, I didn't really want to do this video until we had a bit more information because really, what the hell was I going to say other than maybe it's this, maybe it's that, maybe it's the other. But now we know they're actually selling it off. I think we can talk a little bit f more openly and a bit freely. Um, why they t weren't talking about the other Kickstarters? Why they weren't talking about the, all the games they've got that they've got? Um, I don't know. Um, from what from what they've actually said on the um, Journeyman Kickstarter updates, from what I gather, they're not a Megacon's not actually being consolidated into another company. Which I don't understand how people have been reading that, but that's how some people have been reading it. Um, they're just selling, selling off Myth. Who to? Nobody knows yet. Um, people have been speculating on a whole number of companies, which, you know, no one said anything for obvious reasons. Um, the non-disclosure agreement being the main one. Um, people have said Privateer Press. Um, no, I would say that's not a good idea. Uh, mainly because their prices are horrible. And if they ever switch material to making models, that's horrible. Um, ev if you have to build the models, um, it's horrible as far as I'm concerned. 
Um, it says it's plastic, but no, it's resin. I'm sorry. R rest, it does not exist. Plastic, metal, resin. There's your three. That's all you've got, as far as I'm concerned. But that's just that's just me. Um, fancy flight games? No. From a bis from a business standpoint, they are going to ruin they ruin myth, as far as I'm concerned. Um, yeah, they're making a lot of good bo good cash in board games and whatnot out of the um, Star Wars name, but anything anything else, they don't really care. Um, yet yeah, you could argue they're bringing out new stuff with um, Rune Wars, but let's face it, that's going that's that's so slow, and they're trying to break into the um, big mass war get war game market. And that ain't the way to do it. Make, I mean, the starter set's not bad. It's not badly priced. The models are the models are really good, and how the ranking system works and everything else—it's too complicated for me. But I like what it's doing. It's really, really good. If you want to get into something that's like War, like Warhammer used to be before Age of Sigmar came out, but you want something. Um, where you don't have to glue the models together, but you've still got the great detail. This might be for you, um, but they are being really slow with their releases. Um, staggered releases are a good idea, but this is really too staggered for me, I'm afraid. But then again, I'm not going to play it, so maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm wrong. Um, my opinion on it um, is cool or not mini I would go for them because they have saved they have helped out so many companies and so many games um, I mean Dust Studio they've helped them out um, allowed them to make models for a board game or two I think they're doing um, Prodos games um, while Prodos's reputation can't be salvaged um, their Alien vs Predator 2nd Edition it has been took over, as far as I'm aware, I could be wrong, I'm just going on memory alone, um, by Cool or Not Mini, so that can only be a good thing. Cool or Not Mini is pretty good on every front, as far as, I can, as, far as I've been aware. Um, and then Myth, Myth could really be a big boost to them. I mean, what they could do is have some some characters and whatnot come from um, Super Dungeon Explore into Myth and then some characters from Myth come over to Super Dungeon Explore. Which why not? I mean them two games could could potentially work, you know, bouncing off each other sort of thing. Um but that's just what I think. Um is there any other, is there any other companies? Um Night Model Nine inches, I think they're called. Nah, nah, they're way too specialised. Um, them do, that do Dark Age, uh, maybe. Um, Mantic. Uh, at least with Mantic, Myth will have a, a bigger chance over in UK and in Europe. I'll, I'll say that. Um, who else have we got? Medificus, mm. um, definitely not Prodos. I mean, there's so many people that have just, just because of their um, reputation for being, for having um, crap, crap customer, custom, um, customer relation as far as far as I can see. Anyway, um, that's just how it is. Um, Warzone Resurrection might be a good game, but it doesn't reflect on what their company is, as far as I'm concerned. Well, from what other people can see, I've not had any problems with them myself, but that's just me. I probably I'm gonna say that a lot in this video. It's probably just me. But yeah, bloody hell, we're only not even ten minutes in. Bloody hell. <laughs> um, yeah. So this has just been a case of that. Um, what I want, what I want, Megacon Games to do is do for more for Mercs, bring Mercs more around the world. You know, 
Do more for the other houses, the FCC houses. We've got another um, 10 houses to go through. There's a lot you could do for that. You could do non-affiliated factions. You could do it where you could make your own Merc factions up. You know, point systems, bring them in if you if you really want to, which I don't think you'd want to because that kind of goes against the game, but you could do that. Um, make your own terrain, even, if you really wanted to. But get Mercs advertised and whatnot because that, is your game Megacon. That is the game that brought you forward. Um, Beast of War did a big thing about Mercs Week um, even though the um, Paradigm Shift campaign neither Beast of War or Megacon games really cared about that that much. We only found out from a post on I think it is um, Board Game Geek <laughs> that Sadafu lost Believe it or not, that's the only way anyone knew. Um, and then they put it in the big book here that Sadafu is no longer a proper Megacon, but some sort of guerrilla warfare outfit nowadays. And trying to go after not only FCC, but every other Megacon, especially GCC, which they, as far as they know, they've got ties to um, the FCC, so... It's FCC and GCC first, as far as Sadafu's concerned. But, unless unless you looked on Board Game Geek, or in here, you won't have a clue! And I think that's a disservice to both the game and the fa the um, Merc's community as a whole, where, um, where this, sh this should have been more solid a thing on it. I mean, I, I don't know. I can't. I can't say it's. I can't really say it's all Beast Wars' fault. It's not. It's not all Megacon's fault either. But you, you know, you make a big thing about this. You know, who won? Who lost? You know, give us something, anything. But anyway, um, yeah. Just going off in a tangent about all sorts of things. So, yeah. Um, that's pretty much it for this video. Um, I'm glad you're still going Megacon. Um, I'm glad you're sorting the backers out first. That thing needed to be done first. Um, yeah, one more thing is the Myth Journeyman expansion uh, Kickstarter. Apparently everyone's getting that in one lump. Um, so everything else like the models, the other um, expansion mission uh, quest and what not everyone, everyone's getting their bits in one lump which you know I'd have thought they'd come in two lumps because there's a hell of a lot left to go but that's just me um, I'm glad to see they've got a little bit of communication Megacon, get on them forums and whatnot, and start talking to people because you you've made that little step forward, and I know people are needing to be patient, and that's the thing. People should be patient, but um, you, you know it's understandable when people get a bit too pissed off. Um, well, especially when their stuff's taking so long to come. I mean. What has it been a year now since the Myth G Journeyman expansion Kickstarter? Has it been two? I think it's been a year. I think it's been a year. I think. I think so. Anyway, that is about it for this video. Um, put in the comments below what you think. Have I been too harsh? I don't think so. But that's just me. So there you go. And goodbye for now.